hey, do you have plantar fasciitis or do you have aches and pains in your feet? Did you know that your feet is a mirror of your pelvic floor? Yes, I said that right, right? So lower back pain is my thing. If you don't know, then now you know, right? Because I just told you. You might wanna grab a paper, a pen, um, a seat, and take some notes, right? So your feet being the mirror of your pelvic floor. If you have plantar fasciitis, I guarantee you, you have messed up knees, your hips hurt all the time, and your back hurts, right? If not one, then two, then all of these issues, because I'm gonna say it again, your feet are a mirror of your pelvic floor. It's how you balance yourself. Think about it. As you step, you have this floor, and you have this floor, and then you have your diaphragmic floor, right? So what can you do? Me personally, I don't use a tennis ball, but I suggest you use whatever whatever works for you. I have a myofascial ball or a yoga ball at home. Um, and something else you can do is freeze bottles of water, like a Coca-Cola bottle. It has a lot of lumps and bumps, and if that's what you like, then great. But me personally, whenever I use the frozen bottle, when my feet are hurting to that extreme, I use like the perfect cylinder. I don't like any surprise lumps and bumps. I want to be able to roll it out and no surprises, right? Um, so this is another thing that you can do. This is a wooden dowel. You can get it from Lowe's. It's like twice as long. You can even cut it into four. So you can have four wooden dowels. I don't and give them to a friend that you know has plantar fasciitis because like one in six of us walking around it's probably more than that right ask a podiatrist one in six of us are walking around with plantar fasciitis or some type of a ripping of your fascia on the bottom of your feet right so rolling your feet out for one to three minutes on each foot every day is going to help so many things first off you have reflexology points on your hands feet and ears for your entire body these are energy access points and if you were to massage your feet or roll your feet out you would be improving your immune system you'd be improving your circulatory and improving your lymphatic and again you would like because it's a mirror of your pelvic floor, you would be releasing your lower back pain, the tension in your hips, the tension in your knees, you know, because everything articulates. Every step that you make is how everything aligns. It's, it's, it's your gait. If you don't know what the gait is, look up what your gait is. It's how you apply the pressure down on your heel. It's how you lift your your weight and your momentum off of the, the ball of your foot. It's, do you limp? Um, is, uh, are you a bit bow-legged? You know, like, how are you walking? How are the mechanics having to compensate for your walking, for that bum knee, for that lower back issue, right? And it all comes down to the feet. The feet are what plant you on the ground. The feet are what grounds you, what keeps you balanced, right? So plantar fasciitis, you want to roll your feet out every day for one to three minutes each foot with either a frozen bottle of water, a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, a wooden dowel or something. If you have plantar fasciitis, if you have knee issues, if you have hip issues, if you have lower back issues, again, I'm gonna say it again, your feet are a mirror of your pelvic floor. And most people have pelvic floor dysfunction. Yeah, most people have lower back pain, which then is related to the pelvic floor dysfunction. Because how long have you been dealing with your lower back pain? Or better yet said, how long have you been avoiding taking care of your lower back issues? So, Pure Formis also did a video about sciatica or plantar fasciitis. <laughs> also did a video about um, the difference between sciatica and Pure Formis. So, um, go check that out if you haven't already. Thank you very much for staying and listening to my shenanigans. Um, I hope you find it helpful. We are at Navarre Healing Arts in Navarre, Florida, where medical massage is our number one service. We also do amazing stuff like Reiki, yoga, cocoa ceremonies. 
um, hot stone massages, couples massages, all kinds of other stuff. Jump online, check us out. Give us a call if we can help you. Give us a call if you got questions about plantar fasciitis and how you can do stuff at home to help you or how you could get on our table and get to experience what um, this class called Free the Feet was, right? I went to this class called Free the Feet and I came back to Navarre Healing Arts and I taught all of my therapists the amazing knowledge of Free the Feet. A physical therapist from Europe decided to move to, to America and didn't want to become a physical therapist because it came too much education and too much money and too much time for her. She became a massage therapist and very quickly started doing education. Physical therapist education to massage therapists. So you want to free your feet up? We got some techniques here at Navarre Healing Arts. We would be more than happy to help you and join you on your healing journey.